Today we're going to be looking at the refraction of light. So when light goes from air to water, it refracts so that it gets closer to the normal. And this is because the refractive index N for water is greater than the refractive index N1 for air. And so now if we look at the definition of refractive index N, um, the refractive index compares the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in the material. And we can also look at Snell's law, which states that um, N1 sine theta 1 is equal to N2 sine theta 2. And we also know that N for air is equal to 1. This experiment has two parts to it. In part 1, you're going to find the refractive index of water. And in part 2, you're going to find the refractive index of glass. So the equipment that you're going to need is a cardboard, a polar graph paper, pins, a container with water, glass, and some tape. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to tape your polar graph down so that it doesn't move off the cardboard. And then you're going to um, pour the water into the container. So that it's almost full. And then place the container onto the polar graph. Okay, so next you're going to take your first pin and you're going to place the first pin um, in the center of the polar graph and align it with the container. And you're going to take the second pin and we're going to make this incident angle 15 degrees. So you're going to place it at 15 degrees. Okay. And then take the third pin and you're going to come to the other side of the container and you're going to look through the water and you're going to see where the pins are aligned and you're going to place the third pin in line with the other pins. And so, and you're going to measure the angle, and that's going to be the second, the theta 2. And you're going to repeat this procedure for a different incident angle. So you're going to change this pin to 20 degrees, 25 degrees, 30, all the way up to 45 degrees. And you're going to look at um, the, what the um, theta 2 is. And after you're done with this, you're going to move on to part 2 of this experiment. When you replace the container filled with water, with glass. So you're going to put the glass exactly where the container of water was and you're going to repeat this experiment with uh, incident angles of 15, 20, all the way up to 45 degrees. After you've filled up your data table, you're going to use the information to find um, sine theta 1 and sine theta 2. And you're going to construct a graph from this and using Snell's law, you're going to be able to find um, the refractive index for water from part one, and then for part two, you're going to find the refractive index of glass.